Good afternoon, Michael. I want to take a moment here and uh, do a quick review of the lesson we had the other day. When we take a look at the stance here, and we take a look at your original position here, what we wanted to talk about first, I know you're getting ready to go to the tournament and trying to get a position. I hope everything went well. So um, as we look at this, one of the things to remember here is everything has to be in balance. You know, one ball position, two stance, weight positioning, everything. So I'm you know, trying to keep things simple before you get to this and not make any major changes. What we try to do is try to get you into a simple, you know, simple position as possible to try to get you feeling a little more consistency through the swing. Now, first thing first, what we looked at here is your stance. You know, we had a little bit of a hunch in the back there when we go from the heel, I mean not the heel, but your tailbone to your uh, shoulders. You can see the big hunch right here. You know, ideally in that position when you see that, what happens here a lot of times it forces the weight back to the heel. Uh, or a lot of times we might be into a uh, position where the um, weight position is not balanced or a, in an effective position where we can transfer our weight back to the right side and then back to the left effectively time after time. Now, uh, as we look at that there, first thing we did was went right into the stance. Try to get a proper position. All I had to do is I had to stand straight up, flex the knees, lean forward. You know, bend from the waist rather than all in one one slot. Now, if we look here from the tailbone up to the shoulders, much better. I'll take that position here where we're standing a little taller. You know, try to get the weight a little bit more center, a little more onto the balls of the feet to where we can make that turn back and that turn through a little more effective. Now, when we look to the side here, and I'm going to try to change you up here and just try to look here. At times, your stance can get a little narrow. And by doing that and by saying that, what we see here is just that, that instance. I always go right from the heel or from the instep. We can see right there that our insteps or that position is aimed up right towards our uh, left pectoral muscle rather than underneath our arms. Um, we want to have a stance with that is effective that allows us to move back and forth. But when we look here, Quite frankly, when we look here, you know, what we're trying to see here, what we're trying to find here, is getting that little bit wider stance, and this is like what we see right here. You know, if you look at the insteps here, right underneath the underarm, vice versa here as well. A little bit wider stance allows you to make that transfer back in too far. If we get out past the shoulders or past out that that shoulder width position, what finds us then is that we start to slide, or vice versa, if we are too narrow. Then we tend to over rotate too much and we may hit the hook, we may hit the block, we may be inconsistent in our shot pattern overall. So ideally getting you back in that position. Second thought as we look here is going to be ball position. When you set up here, right here, every ball you place was right up off your left foot, you know, or forward up at your stance. If you don't have an effective rotation coming from the right hand side down and through, when you see this right here, what you'll find is you're going to cause an early release, and you'll either hit it fat or you'll hit it, you'll pull it to the left or even block it out to the right. Now I'm going to fast forward you here and get you back into your swing, but you can just watch here. Sometimes it often promotes where the shoulders are open, where you don't get, tend to get a consistent position as you come down and through. So just look back here, kind of taking the club a little bit back around the body here, come a little tilted with the uh, spine. As you come down into it, you can see you've released the club at this point. You see the forward bow of the shaft. In this case, now, you're not, you know, in effect, if you drew a straight line out from your hands, you can still see you've got a good two to three feet to the ball before you turn through. Because of that, as you come through and the hands finally catch up with the ball, hands come across, body comes across. We can either see a big high shot or we can see that shot going left or fading the ball as well. So in turn, what I did is I tried to get that center point or that center point in between your feet here to try to move us back a little bit to get a little bit more of a center position. So when we find this here, we find that ball being straight down from the center point of our body down through, you know, right initially in front of us here. And I, sometimes I say the belly button. Sometimes I say the belt buckle. Sometimes I've even said, you know, if you take a yardage stick and place it down at your toe line, if your toes are 18 inches apart, in most cases, come nine inches from the right foot. That effectively will measure up to about that center part of the body. It ranges, though, but, you know, not every person is going to be the same. But I think initially when we make that turn back here, you can look already that it's a much better turn 
Body's not tilted. Body's a little bit straighter up here as we make the turn back. We come down and we come through. And we can see the club. You release the club a little early, but it's not as terrible or what not say it's terrible, but not as worse because you see the club's actually going on the ball here. And here the club's not even going on the ball because the ball's up here by that left foot. So by effectively giving you a better rotation through now, We've seen to square it up just a little bit better, get better transition. So just by ball position and stance, kind of got you in that position. Some other things I'd like to work with you on or like to see you on um, initially later on might be getting a little better position as we set up to it here and get a little better transition as you take the club up to the top. So, Michael, as we continue here, just it's that position. Uh, that you see how the hands are very low in the stance when we compare it to even a, any type of player. Um, you know, you know, let's see here. Oh, let's go to Rory. You know, I got Rory right here on the side. Watch Rory McIlroy. Rory gets a little bit behind his shoulders, but look how much lower your hands are down here. I like to see him anywhere from here to up over that right shoulder. Trying to get a little better position, allow you to get a little better turn back and over the ball. So as we see here, look at Rory come from here. You come very flat or very low into that position, but what happens here is as you come down, you get that right elbow coming down. Look how steep or very upright that club position is as we come here. So we come down, we release those clubs, those hands early, ball goes left. All right. Just by getting the ball position in a better position helps you a little bit, but then as well the stance in a better position gets you a better rotation through. I'd work on probably next getting a little bit better position going up, coming back down and through and feeling more comfortable with it. Now, if you have any questions, Michael, I hope you uh, give me a call, 314-724-6539, or shoot me an email at michaelwyakoff at gmail.com. We'll look forward to talking to you soon, sir, and we'll see you.